Hello, my name's Artemis, and yes, on this shitty island that we call Britain, we find ourselves faced with many, many stereotypes, and I'm sure you're already all starting to think of a few of them, but for some of them there are some little nuggets of truth, and others it's just pure bullshit, and I thought, well, it's probably about time to set the record straight, go through some of these, and, you know, actually trying to figure out what is what. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to judge. I'm going to judge the shit out of these stereotypes and see exactly which ones are the sad, depressing, pathetic truth of the matter. Let's dig in. Okay, so the first one is politeness, and I know that I'm pretty much a walking, talking counterpoint to that, but uh, it is something that people just do tend to assume we have, that we're all just basically butlers. You know, you can just call all of us Jeeves. That just sort of works, and we'll do anything to try and make you happy, and we have a fear of confrontation, and, you know, for the most part, that's kind of slightly true. Um, a lot of people tend to be slightly more polite than you would find elsewhere, but it is purely because of that fear of confrontation. If, you, if an Englishman or a British person has a problem with you, they're more likely to just fucking duck their head, walk on and mutter under their breath than they are to turn around and actually have a go at you. We, we are pretty much a nation of cowards in a lot of respects, so I think that's what it all stems from and boils down to. But in terms of like being subservient and you know being all butler-esque, no, we're not all that helpful. I mean, you come to our house and sure, but otherwise, no, get fucked, alright? You're more likely to get told to fuck off. Ah uh, yes, our humour would be the second one, that we have a very dry sense of humour and that we are incredibly sarcastic and oh yeah, we're so sarcastic, I got no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, that one's, that's got to be 100% true, okay, on, on the truthness scale, which is a thing I've totally just made up, 10 out of 10, alright, that's 100% factually correct, yes, we are fucking sarcastic motherfuckers and we honestly honestly believe that no one else in the world gets that that we have some sort of higher form of humor that is elevated above everybody else no one else gets it we're more sophisticated and i honestly have no idea how the fuck we've been able to perpetuate that bullshit lie when we still spit out shit like little Britain and mrs brown's boys which oh i just uh, perfect reasons the uh, justif you know, the justification for our extermination. Just wipe us out based on that shit. Oh yes, the accents, of course. We all talk English, English. We all talk proper. That is exactly how it works. We have a British accent. We enunciate our words. We talk properly. Of course, that's obviously bullshit because, yes, yeah, some people do speak like that. Mostly cunts. Um, we also have people like leading our country who can't seem to string a word together without so yeah it, it it's just people just think of a british accent and they think of pretty much what i'm doing right now and they forget that it's fucking cockneys or it's fucking cockneys out in london who don't know how to fucking use consonants it's just vowels harry potter what a bottle it's it, there's a lot of shit like that. You've got the fucking Dorset accent down here, where a bunch of fucking farmers. You've got fucking scousers. Hey, you like we're going up to the fucking north? You like that all squeaky and shit? No, 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 no. We don't like that. Fucking brummies, uh, brummies, uh, good peaky blinders. Uh, we're gonna go and fucking wear peaked caps and blades and all. Yeah, thanks for that. There is no sexy English accent, all right? It just doesn't happen. There's too much fucking variance to it. A lot of fucking variance to it. Okay, so that one's got to be maybe a 3 out of 10 for truthfulness. Because while you can go around places like Oxbridge and Cambridge and all those bridges, and you will find people who speak very, very nice and posh, they are typically quite rare, and everybody looks at them as if they're fucking ponces. So, meh. T, there's another one. Um, hmm, I wonder what kind of opinion I'm going to have about that. Would it be that it's 100% correct? Yes, it goddamn would. Yeah, T, obviously, T. We, we, we took over half the world and, you know, kind of made everyone else's lives hell in the search for T. We fucking obsessed over that shit to the point where we think we invented it. Spoiler alert. We did not. But yeah, that's that's a big thing. We can fix the world with cups of tea. We, you know, you've fallen over and broken your leg? I'll put the kettle on. It's all right, fella. Like, that's literally how Brits approach everything. You come into the house, you're offered tea. There are, you know, some weird people obsess over the type of tea. I don't know who that would be. It's just 
weird, but yeah, different brands all over the place. I mean, look at this sexy goodness. I mean, how can you not be into that? Seriously, honestly, for real. Oh yes, the royal family, the court of sponges, the fucking old woman sitting with a flower pot on her head. Oh god. So apparently it's supposed to be that we will die for a queen and country and everybody knows the words to God save the queen and all of that shit and yeah, you have people like that who think that the royal family actually have a purpose and uh, it's, oh no, they're very good for this country, are they now? Because to me, it just looks like a massive financial black hole. And it, they are essentially just the most expensive tourist attraction we have. Like, that's, that's literally it. And, oh. and it's great because, you know, you can hide nonces in there and everything. They can cover each other's asses with that. They can, at the same time, say that they're not racist whilst also being incredibly racist. And, you know, if you ever want to sort of think, like, what, what are these people like that sort of, you know, perpetuated colonialism? Well, we put them in a palace so you can come and have a look at them. Yeah, a lot of people will get shit at me for saying it because for some reason people defend them to the ends of the earth and actually give a shit. But yeah, I, I gotta put that as a 10 out of 10 because, oh, it's, w whatever your opinion, we have it there and it's completely pointless. They are just basically a family of chocolate teapots. Bad teeth! That's one, that's one that sings sort of all over the fucking internet and shit. And all these shows, The Simpsons, fucking Austin Powers for God's sake, bad teeth is apparently a thing. Which, I mean, I, I don't really know what to say on that one. Like, we have the NHS, which does some dentist stuff, but otherwise, I, I don't really know where it's come from or why, but weirdly enough, it's a little bit true. Like, maybe, maybe a 4 out of 10, I guess, because... You know, sometimes you wait a long time to have stuff done at the dentist, and also, um, you know, we got a lot of tweakers and meth heads here, and their teeth are like shit. So, I don't know, weirdly enough, it's true, but I can't kind of figure out why. But it's not everybody. I mean, maybe it's the tea. Tea is like scaling it all, turning all your teeth brown. Maybe, maybe that's it. Lack of emotion, stiff upper lip, yep, yeah, yeah, I can get to that one. Like, very repressed, very proper, very, mm, yep, don't, don't let it show, don't let them ever see you cry, boy. Like, yep, yeah, I can see that. A lot of people not really being in touch with their emotions, a lot of repressed anger and repressed hate and, you know, latency when it comes to certain things. <clears throat> like, I could see that. We have a whole culture of it, that whole keep calm, carry on. We got a whole culture of that, which is, again, kind of funny because a lot of the people that were sort of around for the real bigger parts of that entire ethos were also the ones that were pissing their pants like toddlers when they were told that they need to wear a mask. So, swings and roundabouts, I guess. I'm going to have to put that as a 5 out of 10 because yes and no. Awful food. Oh, God, I wish it wasn't so, but yeah, 10 out of 10 on that one, I think. That's, a, that's true. We, we cannot cook for shit. It's funny because like we in, we conquered half the world. We destroyed civilizations in search of different spices. And now in the modern era, no one knows how to fucking use them. Okay, like we invented gravy just to disguise the taste of rotting meat. And you know, oh god, salt. Salt is too spicy. That's that's too spicy for most food over here. We don't season. Why would we need to season our food? Obviously, you know what we have on our table instead. Plain white flour. Yeah, 100% the food is going to have to, yeah. Um, unfortunately, it lets us down. Can't fight that stereotype. I mean, if, if you want to know what pure misery tastes like, come to this country and order a steak. Okay? That will do it. That, that will have you having an existential crisis about why the fuck you're even alive. No wonder everyone in this country is miserable. Queuing, there's a famous British one. I'm gonna have to put that as a 7 or 8 out of 10, maybe 7.5. Because yes, queuing is a big thing. We queue, we have queuing etiquette. You don't push in front, you don't cut in the back of someone. Uh, you know, if more than three people stand in a line, other people will join the back of that line, thinking that it's some sort of queue system for something. Uh, it, it's like a natural instinct. You expect David Attenborough to be narrating it, and now we see some native British people who have unfortunately gotten stuck in a massive circular queue system with no end to it. 
Some would see this as hell, but they see it as heaven. That's, I could see that actually happening. Like, yeah, and we also get extremely pissy at people who don't queue up. Like, and, and again, this is where the fear of confrontation comes in, because when I say extremely pissy, it's more tuts and sighs, like, oh, oh, oh. like that's pretty much, if, if you see that, that's basically a British person getting just about as angry as they get. Over apologizing, yeah, sorry about that, sorry, so I didn't mean to, yeah, sorry, 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 yeah, you know, oh, I bumped into you, sorry, sorry, oh, you bumped into me, sorry, sorry about that, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's funny because we do do that a lot, it's, it's just like a fucking anxiety thing, I swear, just sorry, 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 sorry for my existence, which is, again, super funny because as much as we'll apologize over absolutely nothing, when it comes to, the, like, the British Empire and the way that our country acted in the past, Past. Ain't nobody want to apologize for that shit. Weird. It's almost like we're a bunch of fucking hypocrites. Okay, so there you have it. There are some British stereotypes and what exactly I think of them. Obviously, it's going to be slightly different for everybody. They've all got their own opinions and shit. But hey, I did what I thought was right and I'm going to stick by that. It's a very British thing to do as it is. So, yes, thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. Are there any other stereotypes that maybe I should have covered? Put them below. What do you think? Was I fair in my summation of these stereotypes and, you know, the way that we actually adhere to some of them? Let me know. Oh, that engagement <clears throat> always helps but yes if you did want to help support us maybe like maybe you would just be like this video was amazing i really hope i could give someone some money for it well there are certain ways that you can do that as i'm sure they're, they're sort of popping up around me so have a little look at those it would be absolutely fucking lovely of you no pressure but also a little bit of pressure maybe a bit more than that maybe maybe quite a bit of pressure but yes, thank you for watching. Hope you did enjoy it. And I guess I'll see you next week. Bye.